Calls for affordable housing on both sides of the bay now being met with possible solutions. Leaders of cities in Pinellas County are coming together while Tampa is putting up cash to deal with this situation. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell breaks down both ideas. While calls for immediate help with affordable housing still echo in Tampa. A city which is growing does not neglect the very people who have built it. City leaders say there's $1 million from the budget that will be available for renters in Tampa city limits on March 1st. That's helping the people that do not qualify for the federally funded programs in a different bucket and different category. That payment goes directly to the landlord, not to the tenant. They estimate that million dollars will help around 50 to 75 people. And over in Pinellas County, there's movement on a long term plan. Multiple municipalities have joined forces for a united approach that they're calling the Advantage Pinellas Housing Compact. We've committed to a goal of uh, over a 10 year period, 10,000 additional units that are affordable for people. St. Pete, Clearwater, Largo and Pinellas Park make up this partnership. They're working as a team for issues that cross city lines, like looking into how much affordable housing is available versus what's needed or deciding the most logical places to build new affordable housing properties. Putting housing in the right places that's close to services, um, close to good accessibility. While renters are demanding action now from local leaders, participants of the compact say this sets the framework to provide more housing for the long haul. Tampa City Council also discussed the possibility of rent control in Florida's third largest city, but options are limited due to strict requirements by Florida law.